Honey, I can't sleep. Honey, sweetie, I'm honey. Can we make sense? No, we can't. Oh, come on. What's going on? Look, I'm still trying to recover after the honeymoon, okay? I haven't been myself since then. I mean, you didn't take your time. I told you it was my first time, so I'm still recovering. Five months ago? Now you're getting me wake up now. Five months ago? But it's only five months. What's you call that deal? You call that only? I'm a man. For Christ's sake, I'm Terry. I'm not impotent, all right? Yeah, but you're not a teenager. You have to learn how to control your libido just for a little while until I'm okay. I can't do it whilst I'm in pain. What kind of pain? Answer me. Just answer it me. It hurts, so I can't do it. What it's hurts? Simple as that. What hurts? Your penis fucking hurts. Jesus Christ. Are you supposed to be my wife? My wedded wife? Five good months, no sex? I think we have to go and see a gynecologist. This is getting too much for me. Whenever, alright? Whenever, just leave me alone. Sweetie, so you're leaving me alone? Honey? Honey? Darling? Stop it! Please! I don't like that, please, Terry. I can't seem to understand. I'm in a lot of pain. Oh God. My wife is treating me like that. Which one do you think I should wear? Terry? Help me with the earrings. What do you think? This one or this one? Seriously? Terry, you're not helping. And where is that comb? Ah, I thought I'd put the comb here. Well, sweetheart, can you, can you check in my bag, please? Maybe the comb is in my bag.
Open the gate for me. Yes, Terry. Yes? You forgot to open the door for me. Don't you have hands? Really? I'm here. Let's go. Between you and your husband, Terry. Come on, Mel, you're just insinuating things. Insinuating. Yeah, there's nothing going on. Yeah. How can you tell me I'm insinuating things when I saw it by myself? I came down from the car, Terry walked past by me without even a word. Without even a welcoming word. Okay, alright. Remember I had a discussion with you some time ago or something about working at I think that's where the problem is, right? I knew it! There's been so much friction of me. Well, Tina, listen, you know how much Daryl loves you. You know how much this man cherishes you. I mean, he does everything for you. This is a man who takes care of the wife. I know very well Terry loves you. I mean, you have to calm down, my friend. You have to calm down. And you know problem in a marital home is unhealthy. And side, you have to better wash out. Look at you half happy all the day I came in here. She has the new girlfriend who comes in here looking sexy all the time. Don't push your husband to something you don't want to see. Not my Terry. No, he's not that kind of man. Spare me that, girlfriend. Do you trust me that much? Terry wouldn't do that. I say spare me that. <laughs> Terry is different. He's not like the rest. Excuse me, please. Remember the word, trust no man. It's for all of them. Trust no man. It's for every man. Well, my advice for you is, you know every man's joy is to see the how you You understand? Just try and make it work it out. Work it out, girlfriend. Work it out. It's not worth it. You can go right now. I hear you loud and clear. Yeah. I'll work it out. <laughs> you better do. You better do, girlfriend. Let's go get some drinks before I think. I need a chill call.
Some night? Answer me. No, answer me first. No, I haven't. Okay, then there's a reason why I'm going. To chase other women. Oh, oh yes, so chase who? Other women. Oh yeah, that's what you may think. But I'm not going to work for like that. I'm going to work. I have a lot of dead end jobs sitting on my table. I have to get it done. Please. I have to go. Stop. Please. No, stop that. I warn you. This don't touch me. I warn you. Okay, baby, please.
Steph. Yeah, it's Tina. Can you come over, please? I don't know. I'll explain when you get here, but I just don't want to be alone. Can you come, please? Okay. you a few items so try it if it's good on you keep it and before you open it uh, who is this young lady beside you um my friend i told you about all right is madam know she's sleeping over mm. please next time i have somebody sleep over inform madam all right if she got to know she's here you're going to be in trouble okay all right i'll advise you early in the morning escort her out before madam wakes up Okay. I don't want you to lose your job. All right. Have a good night, young ladies. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.
Monsieur. Monsieur Chief. Let me help you off with the jacket. Interrupt me. Interrupt? <sighs> uh -huh. I want to again. I've been seeing that all the time and Madame has been spying your dog. Madame? Yes, sir. Why? I don't know. Maybe you're just imagining things. As you, I just be tell you, tell I'm just imagining things. Wow, my dad spy on me. Yo, I don't know if you know, say I love you. <laughs> I'm a local. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. At this time, I don't want if I can, I should be knocking the door. Go, 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 go. Hmm? I'll just open the door down. I come, I just open the top of the I can't decide, you lose everything already. I ate that, that I feel it. Okay, I do. Well, look, I love you. I do, Yella. I do. Babe, what time are you coming home? Well, I wanted to go to dinner with Steph and some friends of mine. Sweetheart, I can't wait for you to come home. It'll be too late by then. No, a colleague is leaving for the airport tonight and by the time you get home, it'll be too late. I can't wait. Yeah, it's an improm something that we need to do right after work. Come on. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll leave your dinner in the microwave. All right then. Talk to you soon.
Hello, Steph. Yeah, are you busy? Well, I was hoping that maybe we could meet up for maybe like 30 minutes and have a small discussion. You know the house girl issue thing we talked about? Yep. I'm giving it some serious thoughts right now. Mm hmm. Okay. Right then. I'll see you then. Yes. Hey, madam. Madam. How are you? We need to talk. Okay. I want you to I want you to run an errand for me this evening. It's very important. There's an address I'm going to give to you and an envelope. I want you to deliver it to that place this evening. But it might be too late. So my advice is that you sleep there and you come tomorrow morning. Mm? Don't let anybody sidetrack you. Go there straight yeah. and deliver it. I'll give you the address and everything. You get your few, your few things ready and then meet me at the entrance. Okay? And then your phone too, you have to give it to me. Mm? I don't want anybody calling you and sidetracking you. Give it to me in the morning when you come, you come for it. Okay? So get dressed and come out and wait for you. So, this is what you've been doing to the house help. Jesus. Feeling I can keep, so blame it on the night. 